Alright, folks. Welcome back to the... Ooh. What's this? Uh-oh. Those idols have been alive again. Oh, dear. What does he do? Oh, it's a hula girl. Oh, heartbroken. <laughs> anyway, folks, welcome back to the Spyro Ignite Trilogy. The idols we were carving have come to life. They've locked us out of our temples and stolen our food. And we are continuing our journey of Crash Band of no, so, sorry, Spyro 2 with Idol Springs, the next level that we are doing in this game. All right, so we're just going around getting all of the gems. Just going around. Ooh, look at that. Nice, lovely extra life. So, yeah, we're continuing on our Spyro Crusade, Spyro 2 Crusade with this one. Oh, yeah. I, I do actually like the music. The reason why I'm using the Spyro, the original Spyro 2 music is because, well, the soundtrack by Stuart Copeland is probably one of the best that I ever heard of. Which is my favourite. Oh, damn it. I've forgotten that. Well we'll, well, we'll 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 get that later. Hopefully, we'll get that later. Oh, I do love the organ, the distinctive organ work. I'm locked in here with all our tools, and the giant idol heads won't let the workers in unless we can solve the three puzzles they've. That is ridiculous. The first puzzle is to turn all these blocks yellow. If you have trouble, come back and talk to me. Oh dear. All right, so. Ooh. Oh, that was good. Well, that was easy. Right, that's that done. We've done that. Top. Well, it took me ages to figure out the original version, but apparently I've now managed to figure out what it is. Oh, wait a minute. Found, found out that I missed that, and... Now that we can do that, let's go and feed the idols. Let's fight, feed the idol the fish. Why the idols not let the um, the uh, workers in? That's just stupid and dumb. This idol says he's hungry and won't be satisfied until he's swallowed ten fish. He's got a sense. Oh. Look, so what we've got to do is to swat, uh, get him to swallow yellow and blue fish. But not the red fish, because that's the one that he senses him to. Alright, three, four, five. We're halfway there. Yeah, I'm having my mix. I'm having my nice, lovely uh, Honey Jack Daniels and Pepsi Max Cherry mixer. There we go. Done it. Okay, Spyro, just one more puzzle to go. I'll meet you over by the colored stones for your final challenge. Ooh, but we'll have to go through all those idols and destroy them. Let's go through it. So let's go through the main part of the level. All right, no, but none of them are reacting. I think the ones with the shields or the big ones are usually, you know, usually, um, usually can be destroyed with the super flame. The super flame power up is. I'm going to be honest with you, when, whenever you actually unlock it, it becomes permanent, I think. I not, wasn't expecting it to be a permanent upgrade to normal flame breath, but well, apparently I've got the advantage now. I could... Uh, Those metal shields are making enemies invulnerable to your flame attack. If you press and hold the charge button, you can defeat them with your charge attack. Yeah, unfortunately, Zoe, I... One problem. I have a permanent flame breath attack attack the a permanent super flame breath which allows me to destroy anything get out of my way big gun big guns all right so get out of my way there we go that's one of them done all right another extra life for me out of all, okay, out of all the Spyro, out of all the Spyro games, I felt Spyro 2 was my favourite because the challenges were were pretty good, and I absolutely loved 
this a lot well majority of the challenges but you'll know which one I'm talking about that's real the real pain in the a that is <laughs> but Spyro, but like but like crash team crash insane trilogy to aim the camera left or right use the right stick like Crash Bandicoot NC Trilogy, the game is a little bit more hard than the original, which is kind of sucks, but at the same time it does make it a little bit more challenging and not as easy as what, um, and not as, you know, simple as what the original PS2 version did. The uh, PS1 actually, sorry, I got the wrong system. If you jump on these stones in the correct <coughs> order, you will solve the puzzle. I only know what the first one is. It's up to you to figure the rest out. Okay, so this was a this is a little bit tricky though. Alright, so this one. Yeah. Triangle. Moon. So Oh that wasn't good. Oh that was a that was a good. Well that was exciting. Figure the moon. Star? No, that was the it's the it's the square. It's definitely square. I hope for the hope. now I now I know. Right, it took took me a few attempts to do this, but eventually got it all done. All right, so now the toolbox is done. Nice job, Spyro. You're pretty smart for a dragon. Uh, all I have to give you is this shiny thing I found in our toolbox. And that shiny thing is, of course, none other than an orb, man. That's what it is. I'm collecting these to aid me on my adventure. Right, so op number nine is given to me right now. I do absolutely love Spyro Ignite Trilogy. It's definitely one of my favorite PS4 remasters. Probably gonna be doing, if I could do a top 10 remastered video games, I could put this and Crash Insane Trilogy probably high up on the list. Because, of course, they are faithful remakes of the original uh, games. Well, base games, actually. And basically, but, of course, rebuilt from the ground up using the latest graphics engines. Of course, one was created for the... Uh, well, one was created for Crash Bandicoot. You know, the Crash Bandicoot Insane engine. And which was developed by Vicarious Visions. Well... Spyro, you're pretty tough. If you ever want a permanent job, we've got a place for you here. But for the moment, I want you to have this talisman. Well, you know what we've got. The an idol head. We've got the idol head. Um, one. Well, we're not return. We're not going to return home yet until we get everything done. We've got to get all the jet. We've got a lot of gems to collect and to get to uh, get some more ops to collect. But you know what? Okay, okay, like like what I've said earlier, Crash Bandicoot NSA Trilogy had its own, you know, preparatory engine that powered up both NSA Trilogy and Crash Night Crash Team Racing Nitro fueled. Spyro Reignite Trilogy is is powered using the Unreal Engine, which of course is an o is an existing engine. I think it's the F Unreal Engine 4 that powers this game up. That um, that toys for Bob used, and they're using it to power up uh, Crash Bandicoot for It's About Time, the same developer that did this game. So yeah. All right, so so I think we've got to do. Well, this one is to get these Hula girls to go together. It's fabulous to see you, Spyro. Now that the supercharged power-up is active, you can charge through the pedestals and send the dancing hula girls over here to help. Oh, she's in a bit of a pickle. The hula girl's in a bit of a pickle, so let's go. Two. Oh, missed one. All right, that's her done. Uh-oh. Here we go. That's big. Look at that. The hula girl's ring dance blew up that idol like a Roman candle. Now I can pursue that dancing career I've dreamed of. Take this orb. It could help you go places. Which of course we are. Which helps us. Big. Oh, 
I'm definitely... De I think I know what I could do. If they become naughty, I could do that to them. So that will discipline them. That will get them to behave. <laughs> but anyway, that's... With joking aside, we've completed another orb challenge. So I think that's all the orb... I think that's all the orbs are done. I think we've got all the orbs. I think there's only two orb challenges. That are that are that are in the stage. So yeah. All right. So now that's that done, let's go and search for the rest of the treasure, shall we? Let's go and get the rest of those gems. That needs to be needs to be collected. In order to 100% this level. It's a level ahead le level you can 100%. Well, of course, this is this can oh, but of course, this whole one w w you will need the swimming uh, mechanic, which of course, if you copy exactly what I do, exactly use the um, use the swimming technique, then uh, maybe you can be able to get the the, the gems. You'll be able to get every 100% this stage. All right, so we need more gems. Okay, so let's do this. Let's get to all those gems. All right, that's that. All the gems have been done, and first we've completed this get level 100%. So. So, without doubt, let's head back to the portal and let's get back to Summer Forest with with quick time. Yes. So if that that would that uh, was that was um, so once I've done this stage, I'll do a few more parts and then I'll go back to Ed, the Reignite Trilogy to uh, record what I missed. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Oh, that was weird. One of them was dumbfounded. There's nobody else. <laughs> all right, so we found all the treasure. And we've got all the orbs. Now we can go back to Summer Forest. Yes, I definitely have uh, cut out the loading time. Cut out the majority of the loading times. I was kind of, you know felt a bit inconsistent to do, not do, being able to cut out all the loading times because most of the time the loading times are quite long and lengthy but we hope that but I hope I've learned my mistakes from this part onwards yep so yeah all right so now that I've done this part now we can get on with the with uh, progressing to the one of the parts of the summer forest So yeah, so yeah, sweet. So yeah, in order to 100% idle springs, you need the swim mechanic in order to uh, reach one of the uh, reach some of the gems and go to one of the uh, challenges. All right, there we go. Alright, so we could press these to get get through. You're well on your way, Spyro. Keep collecting talismans to help us defeat Crypto before he can take over Avalar. Oh, and keep collecting those orbs too. The professor thinks they will help you get back to the dragon world. Get help us get back to Dragon Shores pronto. Alright. Alright, so we got another extra life. Cool. Cool, that's another extra life into my collection. So we got so in this place we got Hurricanes, which is basically that world. Unfortunately, we can't go up there yet. I saw something shiny at the top of this wall. You could probably get it, but you'll have to. No, now to climb. Oh, that's her. That's Elora's um, reaction. Uh, sorry about that, Look, Elora. I just wanted to get your reaction. <laughs> All right, so off to Sunny Beach now. 
Surf court. Here we go. Oh! Ouch. Oh, yes, ladies and gentlemen. Here we go. This is Save, Save the Turtles, the game. Part one. The whole... Hi, Spyro. It's a good thing you're here. If you can help shepherd those baby turtles over there to safety, I'd be mighty grateful. All right, so the baby turtles, the ones without the shells, can go. All right, so Sunny Beach is another, 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 another easy stage. But of course, there's a lot of these uh, shock stickers that can be quite annoying. But all right, so thank you very much. Ow! That's not. Ouch! That hurt. But of course. I could be able to use a super flame. I could because I got the permanent super flame power up. I can now be able to get rid of these. Uh, yeah, I'll be, I could be able to uh, destroy the um, destroy the uh, turtle boxes. Unfortunately, I missed a couple. I missed another gem. Oh, Jesus! Why am I always missing the gems? Why am I always missing everything? All right, so let's go. We could. Sh oh yes. So there's seven. There's seven turtle boxes. There's seven turtle boxes to destroy in total in order to get that orb. Basically, with the. Well, basically with the um. Super flame power up. You can absolutely do this mission without, you know, having to uh, activate the soup the the power up. Out. Oh, and of course, most of these with the super flame power up, you can absolutely snipe these uh, the enemies if they get too much. Snipe them. If they get too much. Uh, be, uh, be, be able to get them while I back as turd. If not, snipe them. Whoa, look at all that. Alright, so we got three. Oh, yes, this is um, absolutely. Alright, so we have to charge this turtle to get him to switch on. Get. Get his little but get his bottom to switch to sit on the switch. Park that but park it. Of course we all know. Oh god. Get your get your butt uh, No you do not No you don't get on there. Alright, so we've got one out of the way. Right, here we go. All right, so that's uh, two more to go. That's two more to go. Oh, we I don't think I would ever want to use that. Don't think the power up would be used, but of course I've got to go get those gems. I'll probably talk to him before. The water workers have captured most of our baby turtles, and the boxes they put them in are incredibly strong. With a more powerful flame attack, maybe you could break open the boxes and release them. Well, you know what? Well, you know what? I don't think I would... You don't... Well, no, wait no further, because, of course, I already have a permanent super flame attack. I'm going to be able to destroy these boxes. These said boxes. And as you already spoken, I already had five and seven, and now I've broken just what? Or only, only one remains. Oh, unlucky 13. God damn it. Alright, so we're quite a long of a ways to go in terms of the... Uh, we've, got, we've got two orbs that challenges there, but we can't get them until we fully... Alright, this is it. There's the one. Right, here we go. Most impressive. 
please take this sacred thingamajig as a token of our everlasting gratitude. This is the, uh, that's the only one that we can only do. This is the only old challenge that we can only do in this. Because, of course, for the other two op challenges, we need the climbing ability from <sighs> money bags in order to climb up the wall. The same thing with um, Glimmer. We the same thing with uh, Summer Forest, where you have to get that one of those one of the orbs in the game. But other than that, let's just try to get as many gems as possible because we need to. All right, let's get let's get as much gems as we can. I do like um. No, well, would he go in there? There's some. Well, we could already talk to him. Hello, young one. There's a chef up at the top of this ladder who wants to make soup out of our turtles. Maybe you could climb up there and stop him. Well, sadly, though, we don't have the climbing ability, sadly. So, unfortunately, that means we we're gonna have to come back. We're gonna have to come back and do this. Forty-one. Right. This is the skill points page. I don't want to. Right, so with that being said, let's do this. Well, unfortunately, we can't do that until... Alright, get over there. Come on. We need... Oh, don't turn back! You need to get through there, you... Big... Oh, there we go. Now we've done it. All right, here we go. Thank From you, it. Young dragon. The baby turtles will be safe up here. Please take this talisman as a token of our gratitude. That's right. The gratitude lies. That's a to a turtle emblem. All right, so let's return back home now. Oh my god, now that's... Oh my god, now that's a good way to actually getting those water workers to work in order to... for labour. <laughs> for slave labour. Once again, I've forgotten to... to actually edit out the loading times again. Ugh! <laughs> god damn it. All right, I think that's where we'll cut off this part. We will reconvene next time. Let's look at all that. All right, I think next time we'll do it. We'll go off to Huracost, but we'll see you guys next time for when we're going to continue on with Spyro 2. So see you guys next time in the playthrough.